Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard to my first review and unboxing on my channel. I've never done any unboxings on my channel before, so please bear with me today. I don't want to talk at you the whole time. I want you, the viewers, to make your own judgments from the close-up shots that I provide throughout this video. So today I'm going to be talking um, about the Iceland Air 757 celebrating 80 years of aviation special edition model from Gemini Jets. Taking a first look at that model today in this video. Uh, I haven't purchased any models in the last few years, but I've decided actually to get back into collecting, starting with this 1400 scale model from Gemini Jets. I want to give you a little context about this model um, that I'll be unboxing today. So here's a little snippet that I pulled from the Iceland Air's website on their 80 years of aviation. Quote, as an airline, Iceland Air traces its roots back to 1937, when a fledgling airline was founded on the north coast of Iceland. After eight decades of operation, our history reflects the spirit of the Icelandic nation, its resourcefulness and innovation, end quote. So Gemini Jets took a little over a year to design this model and get it onto the market, but I'm glad it's finally here. Without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Here's the model um, coming out of the box. I got the model from JetwayModels.com, which is my go-to one-stop shop for all things Aviation 1400 scale. Model came really nicely packaged, and I'm glad to say it got here in one piece. Just a quick disclaimer, I will say that this video was not in any way, shape, or form sponsored by JetwayModels.com. Really love the whole group over at Jetway Models. They're a great group and a great team, um, and Jetway Models has a huge inventory. You can get anything there, including model planes, accessories, all that sort of stuff, and a wide variety of different scales. Um, so I will definitely be going back there for all my hobby needs in the future. Here's a first look at the case, at the box that the airplane came in. Um, pretty nice crisp coloring, uh, pretty standard for a Gemini Jets box. I'll rotate it around here so that you can see it a little bit better. Um, but from the get-go, I was pretty impressed with the general presentation um, before I even looked inside. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing outside of the box. As with any Gemini Jet model that you get, um, really comes nicely wrapped with some nice plastic sleeves over the model just to protect it while it's inside that little plastic tray that it comes in. Um, so that's going to keep the model safe and secure um, and scratch free when it's just in there. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not going to talk at you the whole time. I want this unboxing to be um, a little bit more quiet than the typical unboxing. I want you to be able to take a look and make your own judgments from the video that I present to you. So for a lot of this, I'm just going to let the tape roll. One thing I will say is I'm really impressed with the landing gear on this Gemini Jets model. Uh, I will say in the past, the landing gear of models three to four years ago wasn't nearly as detailed as, as this one is, so I'm really happy with uh, how Gemini Jets has corrected that. Here's a brief look at the, um, the, the livery on the plane and the, the whole colorway down the fuselage. Hope that you can see that with the, uh, with the, with the shot there, um, but uh, there's a glacier obviously. That white bit there that uh, runs the length of the fuselage with those nice blue skies of Iceland behind it. Really pretty colorway. Um, Gemini Jets did a great job detailing that on the model. You know, a 757 and 400 scale is only about four inches long, so it's really impressive that they can make that detail there and that print on the side of the model, and I think that they replicated the colors and the, uh, the paint job fantastically on this one. So hats off to them for a great job here. No problems here when looking head-on at the model. Um, I know a lot of other people on YouTube have complained that some of the paint job with the, with the cockpit's a little bit crooked or that the landing gear is a little bit crooked or turned to the side, but um, on first inspection, that looks uh, perfect here on this model, so I'm happy with that. Here's another view of the paint job from the opposite side of the model um, as the one you saw earlier. I am going to show a few more close-ups of the model during the rest of the video. I'm also going to add in a few pictures here um, of the model at my model airport um, and on the taxiways so you can see what it might look like at a diorama. It's a really pretty plane. Uh, I think that's one of the biggest reasons why I chose to go ahead 
and get this plane in the first place. Um, but that paint job, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's really a one-of-a-kind model, and it's a limited edition release from Gemini Jets. So I, I think this is a really special plane to get your hands um, on. And for, for $45 from JetwayModels.com, uh, you can't go wrong. Thank you so much for tuning in today as we took a look at the 757-200 from Iceland Air. They're very special, beautiful work of art, celebrating 80 years of aviation um, edition. It's a really special plane. For me, I'm super happy to say that it is now in my collection. I'm thrilled. I can't wait to see uh, what other planes like this I'm going to purchase from Gemini Jets in the very near future. Definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a variety of videos that I plan to release on the channel in the coming weeks. But until then, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, stay tuned for more. I'm also going to include a link for JetwayModels.com in the description below. So if you want to check them out, just click on that, and it'll take you to their website.